Okay, so I want to do a video about the curriculum that we're going to be using for my son for next year. He's going to be going into second grade and he is going to be partially homeschooled. He's going to be homeschooled two days a week with me and three days a week he's going to go to his Montessori school. And um, he had some problems last year in, school, in first grade, so hopefully we can get those fixed by doing a homeschool school hybrid for him this year. So um, I'm... This is what, so most of our curriculum has just arrived, finished arriving today. So this is what we have. So um, we have this guidebook, what your second grader needs to know. And this is a really good map of a second grade curriculum. I also have first and third and fourth. So we can skip around depending on what we're doing and because uh, everything doesn't always match up. Um, so for social studies, um, we're going to be using this really, really great and old um, social studies curriculum that's literature based. So each lesson starts out with a story and I obviously read him the story. And this is this one starts with Rocks of Oxen, which he absolutely loved. So it's really great. Um, this is a great story about kids and their community. And then it starts off the discussion on communities and maps. So I, I absolutely love this because it's so interesting and um, we are also going to be using Story of the World, Volume 1, which has not arrived. It's arriving tomorrow. So we're excited to do that, and that was recommended by his teacher for us to use. And I'm just going to read that to him. And um, I did get the workbook. I'll see if we need it, but I'm probably just going to ask him questions from the workbook. Um, for math, I'm going to put him in third grade math. He's very, very good at math. Um, this is what I got. Um, I got these Math Strategies Practice Journal from Lakeshore Learning. We love this. This is amazing. We already started it, and we are, we've done a bunch on multiplication. We started division. Um, this is such a great way to introduce these math concepts. I also just bought the Daily Math Practice Journal, and this is not as easy to use. Um, this is just a day-by-day, -day. and um, even though this looks really easy, I can already see him struggling with this because this is way harder than what we've learned. So we're going to have to just do these together and kind of work them step by step on a blackboard. Um, so I don't, I don't know when he's going to be able to do these by himself. Um, so that's something, so it's a challenge and challenges are good. Um, he did finish second grade math in his class because his school is accelerated. Um, I also found this at a thrift store, Envision Math. This is a third grade math workbook, uh, textbook, and we're just going to keep this as a reference. I don't want him to follow a textbook for math because I don't want to kill the love of math for him. Um, so we're just going to keep this as a reference so we can look things up and make sure we don't miss anything. What I really want him to use is Khan Academy on um, line. It's a free curriculum and they have uh, first grade, second grade, third grade math. So I want him to quickly review second grade math on Khan Academy. It looks really fast and then um, he can dive into third grade. So I think he'll enjoy that. I think he'll enjoy working online and doing problems online. Um, this is what I got for reading and writing. Not sure if I can get all of this out no, with one hand. So Nico does struggle with reading and especially writing. Um, I would put him, so I got for writing, I got him printing power second grade. And um, I really hope he doesn't have too many tears using this um, because he does, he, he really struggles with handwriting. Um, I'm also going to have him do typing and um on on, the, on my computer so but this is for printing I hope it works um, I got him this language handbook and this is this is all one curriculum for second grade this is the Harcourt trophies let me pull it all out so there's two textbooks there's textbook one and then there's textbook two so we finish one and then this is the workbook that goes with one this is the workbook, nope. This is the workbook that goes with two. And then this is the language arts handbook. This has just explanations about language. And then this is the spelling. And this, this I hope this is good, but it's it's kind of all over the place. Um, his, his spelling in, in first grade was more, I don't know, it kind of flowed, 
but we'll see. We'll see how this works. Um, this looks pretty challenging. He's not a great speller, neither am I. Um, so we're gonna be using this. These books are amazing. I don't know so much about the workbooks, but these textbooks are all, um, so they kind of, they, they have such an amazing selection of stories. I'm so excited about all the different types of literature and there's science books. Um, I just, I love this. I'm so excited to use this with him. These ones he actually has to read. There's study questions about each book. And then he has vocabulary, spelling, and all kinds of exercises based on the book he read. So like the first one is the chameleon, the mixed up chameleon. And then all of the questions are about, uh, related to the story in some way, the mixed up chameleon. So I just, I this is perfect. I think he's going to love this. He's going to be so engaged. Not sure about these two, but they recommended to get them as well. Um, so we'll see. Um, I also got Analyze the Text Genre Journal from Lakeshore. And I don't know if we're going to use this. We might hold off until next year. Um, this looks a bit challenging, and I don't want to freak him out. But this has all kinds of different um, literature and he has to read it and analyze it, basically. Um, I also got him a reader's logbook. So this is when we read books together or he reads books to me, he can map out the story, which I think, I don't know if he'll do it. We'll see, maybe next year. Um, again, he struggles with reading and writing, so that is going to be our main priority this year. Um, I also got him a draw and write journal. This is for him to write. I also got him a prompt finder to go with it so he can find the prompt and and go from there. And then for cursive, I got him this, and he can just practice. He is interested in doing cursive. And then um, this is my personal curriculum planner. So let me see, I did, there are a bunch of websites I wanna use. Where did I write this down? Here it is. So for, for typing, I want to try the typingclub.com. For coding, I want to try codemoji.com. I want him to try uh, chesskid.com. And of course, if he's going to do the wipe clean. Um, so I do want to introduce online learning. And of course, for math, he's going to do Khan Academy. So I do want to introduce online learning to him um, because I think he will enjoy it and he really likes games. So that should be fun. But um, yeah, so that's literature. And we're actually finishing up first grade um, this summer so we can get ready for third, second grade in the fall. But he's currently using this journal. Um, we just I just got this. So we just started this. Hopefully we can go through it quickly. And um, this is very simple what he wants to do. Um, so this will kind of encourage him to enjoy this. Um, I got this, Reading Fundamentals, Nonfiction Activities. I love this so much. I'm going to go pick up a second grade version of this because this is amazing. He actually loves this. He loves nonfiction. So this has recipes, game instructions, um, all kinds of different informational uh, excerpts on different subjects. So we really enjoy using this, and I'm definitely going to get the second grade. Um, I also got him social studies. This is first grade, super easy. We are just reading this all the way through. And we've we've read like two chapters in one sitting and there's I think there's only like two chapters left. Um, so we can just quickly finish reading this book together and do all the exercises very easy. Um, I got this, this is a different, I got, a, I got all these at thrift stores. So this one is, this is just a different company and it's basically the exact same book, but um, it looked fun and I just wanted to grab it in case there's anything interesting that we want to cover as well. I'm just going to skip the second grade versions of these books because first grade is so easy and third grade looks so perfect. So um, this, um, this is also, I got him this for Spanish. So we're just going to be using this for Spanish and we're, th this is stuff we're using now. And then um, science I'll cover after I show third grade science. So for third, for um, science, oh, this is heavy. Um, I got him, I, I got these two science textbooks. Again, two different publisher, third grade. Um, I think it's a good level. Um, we are currently finishing up second grade science. So this is Harcourt Science second grade. 
this is Harcourt Science third grade. So we are just going to read through this science book. And this is super easy stuff. Um, and we're just going to finish it this summer, read it like a book, and then um, he will jump into third grade science in the fall. And this, again, I got this at a thrift store. Why not? Um, just for comparison, like if we don't like the way that one textbook is explaining a subject, we can try the other book and see if it makes more sense. Um, he loves science experiments, so I got him this 101 Great Science Experiments, and we're so excited to do this. Um, and I have, I have boxes of materials. Um, I also made him this scientific process journal from printables online. I thought this was really cute. And then, um, I bought two different science journals. Now I thought I was buying, um, an instructional journal from Lakeshore, but this is just, just a science journal, which is fine because I think it was only three or $4. Um, and this has, I kind of like this because we, we are finding a lot of science words that we need to learn so we can write them here. And I like that. That's, that that'll be good for him. Um, so we can use this and we can use this, which I printed out for him and I can always print more. Um, so he can choose what he likes best, but I do like, it is very cute and free. Um, so daily science journals. I love these. These are probably my favorite Lakeshore learning product ever. We are working through first grade right now, and it's this is absolutely perfect for him. He reads the passage, and this is science uh, space, so he loves space. And then he does all the exercises, and it's super interesting, and he is so engaged in this. So we're going to work on finishing this journal this summer, and then we're going to start second grade science journal. Um, I have to be really careful because his reading level is not as high as his comprehension level. So even though he's doing third grade history, third grade science, third grade math, he really can't keep up with the reading on that level. So I'm just going to have to make up for it by reading to him as much as I can to keep him interesting, interested. And then um, the reading assignments that I give him on those topics need to be at a lower grade level. Um, so that's science. And then... Um, this is all just puzzle books. He is obsessed with mazes, hidden pictures, crosswords, word searches, doodling. So um, we're going to, I gave him lots of ton tons and tons of puzzle books and he can do this for fun. Also, we have a lot of science and STEM kits. So I got this at Lakeshore Learning. This is wonderful. These are file folder games. So he chooses a subject and this is grades. This is seven and up for second and third grade. And it's pretty easy. Um, so he just chooses a game, which game he wants to play, and it comes with the board, and it comes with all the pieces um, in the little box, and he plays it. And last week when we were homeschooling, he chose Simple Machines, he played the game, and he said, okay, wow, that was really cool. Um, so we read we read the What Your Second Grader Needs to Know on Simple Machines, and then um, he wanted to go build Simple Machines out of Lego, so that worked out really well. Um, and then I got him this game. This game is amazing. It survived the quake. He has to build the city and make sure that um, the earthquake doesn't break it down. He loves this. He plays with it every day. Um, I have I have these Connect kits, and I have Connect um, education kits. So we haven't started using them yet, but we will this year because they're they're great engineering kits. And then I have Snap Circuits. We've had these for years, and he loves them. So we're going to continue. I also have a Rover a snap circuit rover. Um, I really love these Lego books that come with the pieces. I put all the pieces in this purple box, um, but he has to build the different machines and they have a ton of these books now. So um, I want to use these for our engineering. And then here's more, more of these, um, what do you call them? Connect, <laughs> forgot. <laughs> more connect pieces and then planks i love planks planks are the best we have the brain builders cards these are different challenge cards and then we have these are different examples of things people build and then um i just went online and i looked up planks challenges and i got a bunch of different printouts um projects to use projects to do with planks which i want to give him and then just 
different people and say, okay, b build a suspension bridge. So we tried this and it was extremely hard and he cried. So, uh, and then maybe we can use our, oh, and I mentioned, uh, I don't think I mentioned the STEM journal. So maybe we can use our STEM journal. Um, this is something else I bought thinking that it was going to give him actual projects, but I think there's only maybe three projects in here. So it's kind of disappointing. Um, but still, again, it was very cheap and I think I'm just going to use this to help him plan out his STEM projects and um, we're going to be using these materials that we already have. So, um, and then I think that's pretty much it. So just to tell you what subjects I want to work on, we're going to have spelling, grammar, reading literature, writing, vocabulary. And um, when I do my morning basket tour, I'll talk about vocabulary, um, history, geography, civics, math, science, health, wellness, PE. He's in Taekwondo and I want him to jog and exercise with me. He also has PE at school. Um, art, music, Spanish. Um, Spanish, I want him to try Duolingo. Um, again, that's online and free. And then of course our Spanish workbook, which is super easy now. And um, what a Oh yeah, that was it. And then he also, he's been taking Spanish for last year at school. So we'll see how fast he can get through Duolingo. Um, STEM, STEM, we're gonna have a bunch of materials. And then typing again, we're gonna try the typing club, coding, chess, cursive, and I think that's it. So I, it's a very ambitious curriculum and I have in my binder here, I track, I just write down other materials I want here to get more file folder games. I want these for history, fourth grade through fifth grade science. Um, it's just the best idea ever. It's so much fun. But here I kind of track what he does each day when we're working on different subjects. And I write down how many pages he did, what did he do, what did he read, um, just to track him. So anyway, that is our second grade curriculum. Thank you for watching, and I really hope we have a great 2019-2020 school year.